So Apple just did something really amazing again. They went through and dropped iOS 26 beta 7. So now we have this brand new update that allows us to go through and kind of unlock a little bit more from our iPhone. And this makes me really happy because unlike the previous versions, Apple was like slowly releasing updates like every other like two weeks. We just got beta 6 last week and we just got beta 7 this week. If Apple keeps this going, they can release a new beta every week and they can go through and fix a lot of issues and problems that everyone's having. Now, this update coming from beta 6 was about 2.17 gigabytes for me. So it definitely wasn't the biggest size update in the world, but it was, you know, a good size update that in the background is just fixing a lot of bugs. So it tells us right here, iOS beta gives us an early preview. I guess it doesn't really say specifically what it ended up fixing yet, but so far for my little bit of time kind of messing around with it on an iPhone 16e, it's feeling like it's a pretty good update. And I'm not really having too many problems with it. Now, one of the big things Apple added in the last update was this new animation when opening up the app. And it looks like it still is glitching up a little bit when you use it sometimes, but it is a very fast difference. You can kind of see as I'm kind of scrolling through, it is a very big difference and things are loading up very fast, which is really awesome. One thing I always want to check is this animation when kind of going into your notification drawer. And I tested it earlier. You can see if I swipe it down, I like how it kind of does that, right? Like you can see the glass and it kind of swipes down while you're doing it. But I don't like that animation when it changes, right? I feel like it looks very tacky. And when you kind of swipe up, you can see that it kind of still uses that liquid glass. But then you swipe up, the animation kind of comes back. If you go fast, it looks nice, right? But it just, I feel like, is an unnecessary amount of power to use for it. What I would rather have is Apple kind of just blur out the background as you're swiping it down or darken it up. And just like how they do it when you swipe up. You see how when you swipe up, it gets darkened? I kind of want Apple to implement something like that when you're swiping down. When you get into the notification drawer, this panel, little of like the squishy icon still kind of pops up. Otherwise, though, I think it's getting a lot better. I would highly recommend, though, to not install this update just yet. It is still not good. It's still going to get better. And there are random glitches that happen all the time. And the more and more I use these updates, the more and more glitches happen. But so far, it is looking pretty good. And it is making me very happy with the way Apple's approaching their updates right now. So it's kind of a little bit of an update here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then. Thank you.